Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create these really cool um, glitch overlay effects in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. I'm going to basically go over where to kind of find um, this effect, and then of course we're downloading it, and then of course a couple different things you could actually do um, with this effect. Now this effect is a plugin, um, so you're going to have to download it, but it is free, so don't worry. It's a completely free plugin, and it's from Ryan Nagel, so go ahead and put the link in the description below. So again, it is a plugin, but don't worry, um, it is free. Now this um, basically plugin is, you don't want to put it in the effects panel you're actually going to put it in titles in generators this effect actually goes in the generators tab so in the motions template you want to place the effect in the generators tab right here as you can see right here ryan nagel overlays right here and here are all of the overlays so again you have to put them in the generators tab um, right there so let's head over to the example right here I'm gonna go over a couple different ways you could actually use this effect so again you want to go to titles and then generators right here and then Ryan Nagel overlays right here so I'm gonna go one by one so I'll go over this glitch one first right here and of course you can stretch these out to fit um, your entire video right here so I'll go ahead and play it right here and as you can see obviously you can't see the video so you want to head over here and you want to change the blending mode um, to add or uh, screen. I find that screen looks the best. So you can go ahead and just leave the blending mode on screen right here. So there you go. That's the first one. We'll go ahead and just apply a script effect right here. So this is this really cool glitch overlay right here. Go ahead and apply um, script 2 right here. Go ahead and see what that looks like right here. So you have the script one and then you have the script two right there. So those are there, those are those effects um, right here. Let's go ahead and just delete all these right here. And then I'm gonna go over the wave right here. So let's apply the wave right here. Go ahead and just blade it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and have to change um, the blending mode. So I'll change the blending mode to screen right there. And as you can see here is what the wave effect looks like right here. Let's go ahead and try the wave two. I'll go ahead and just blade it right here. So I just want to go over every single one of these effects. And of course you can make your judgment on whether on which one um, is your favorite. But this is this effect looks a lot more like the uh, WandaVision effect right here. So if you like that kind of really cool glitch look, uh, definitely looks a lot like the glitches in the show. Obviously it doesn't look completely accurate, but it's definitely kind of close, or kind of the closest glitch effect that I could find. So I'll go ahead and cover the screen right here. And as you can see right there, you can go ahead and just hear all of the different um, glitch effects right there. So I kind of want to go over every single one of them, kind of show you what they look like right here. And in case you're wondering which ones I used for the intro, here is the intro right here. So I, this is what it looks like right here. Again, you want to change the blending mode to add or screen right here. So I have the wave effect and the glitch effect. Then I have the wave two and then the two script effects right here. And then the last one is the wave three effect. Now you're looking at you're saying, wait a minute, how in the world did you get it to turn green? So what I did right here is I went to the effects panel right here, and then I typed in hue and saturation right here. So the hue and saturation effect right here. I applied the hue and saturation effect on to the clip right here. So here's a hue saturation. And as you can see right here, you can turn it a whole bunch of different colors right there. So you want to make sure you apply the hue and saturation effect and then you can basically just mess with a whole bunch of different colors until you get the look or the color that you want um, for your video. That's just one small effect. Now granted you don't have to change the color but if you want to change the color go ahead and just add hue and saturation and then adjust the hue accordingly and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple and small effect but I definitely think it looks really cool. Again it is a plugin from Ryan Nagel, but don't worry, it is free. And the most important thing is don't put it anywhere else except in the generators tab in your motions template right there. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Small, quick, easy little effect. But I definitely think it adds a little to a little more to your video, makes it a little more visually appealing. I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite glitch overlays um, that I've ever seen. So hopefully you also like 
um, with this really cool effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.